Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel QuickView Enthusiast. I am Abhishek, a QuickView learner, and in this video, I will share my learning about the funnel chart. Funnel chart is a great way to show the pipeline related information. For example, uh, we have a sales pipeline for each sales representative or sales account managers uh, where they have the deals in pipeline which will be matured in some time. So for that kind of, kind of information, this uh, funnel chart is very suitable or for um, project manager, manager perspective uh, to see what are all the project in pipeline and, and at which stage it will be really useful. But here uh, I have tried to take another perspective to show the different categorization of data uh, with the help of uh, pipe this funnel chart. So as you can see these two charts indicates that they are funnel chart. You know we have the different categories of data in both the different charts. So in first chart we have uh, data for female and male. Male, So they are saying percentage by age group however uh, the title is wrong. Whereas in the second chart it is saying percentage by age group. So we have these different age group I think here the title is correct. So basically the data has been taken from this metric uh, which is taken from my YouTube channel uh, dashboard. So I just extracted data to see uh, what are the different age group who are looking at my channel. So if I say 45 to 54 uh, age group in female uh, their percentage is 3.5% and the maximum percentage is coming here 29.4 percent of males who are in the age group 45 to 54 percent. So this will give me a uh, good information about uh, the different uh, how the different age groups people are coming and looking at my uh, videos and uh, uh, what is their gender. So if I want to do some more uh, uh, you know improvement in my videos I can look at this uh, uh, metric and think about or plan it for a better videos to attract uh, the other age groups. So before further any talking, uh, the aim, main aim is or main aim of this video is to create a funnel chart from scratch and uh, show you some of its properties. So let's let me just remove this uh, funnel chart from here. Uh, by right clicking on this chart and click on remove click OK. So we will use this data for this. So to create uh, any object we right click on the blank space go to new sheet object and uh, click on chart. In this first window of this wizard we have this option funnel chart. We will click here. We will click next now basically we want to create a funnel chart by gender. So we will take gender as one dimension and click on add and click next and we will take the sum of percentages. So we will say sum and the brackets and uh, we will say percentage. In this way uh, our formula is now ready and we will say uh, we will give a label that uh, percentage by gender which is the right title and not shown correctly when I started my video percentage so my Y key is not working for some reason why so this uh, laptop is a bit old that's why it, sometimes it gives me the hard time so now it is coming properly and let's click finish to see how it is coming. All right, so the the chart is coming properly as we showed you as I showed you last time at the starting of the video. But uh, uh, it is not showing uh, the values over here. So let's right click on the chart, go to properties, and in expression tabs, uh, let's enable this option value and data points. So now it is coming 0 0.217, 0 0.784. Need a little bit of formatting. So let's go back to properties again. And in the number tab, 
um, let's make it uh, in teacher show in percentage click OK all right so coming properly 22 percent 78 percent very nice now the next thing is the funnel chart properties so currently you are seeing that 22 uh, percent is coming first and 78 percent is coming second but if your business requirement is that it should be sorted properly where highest value should come first and the lowest value should come second you can actually format it or you can sort it in that way so if for that let's right click on the chart go to properties and in sort uh, disable this default option which is text and enable this option y value descending order click ok let's see what it comes all right so you can see the first value which is the highest value is coming first which is 78 percent with the maximum area and then the lowest value which is 22 percent similarly you can change it in a in this chart so why i've created this second chart i'll tell you uh, probably at the end of the video to give you a small assignment and uh, but let's move ahead with these, uh, this chart with some more properties. So we just show, we just uh, saw uh, how to sort it as per the business requirement. Now the next thing is if they don't want in this fashion, where uh, you know, or they want in a reverse fashion where this smaller area should come first and this bigger area should come second. Uh, or at the bottom as a base then you can reverse the order of this chart as a shape so for that we'll right click on the chart go to properties and in presentation we have the reverse orientation let's click ok alright so you can see the chart is now uh, reversed the area is reversed and uh, you can clearly see the picture if this is your business requirement Another uh, small property is related to its orientation. So currently it's uh, the shape is a vertically uh, positioned shape. But if you wanted a horizontally positioned shape, you can change its orientation and how it will look like. Let's go to let's see it by going into properties and in style tab, we have this orientation section. And in this, uh, let's change its orientation and click OK. You can see how it is coming so this is like a horizontally positioned uh, orientation so it simply depends on how uh, your data is and uh, what is the best way to put it on your funnel chart according to that you can change the orientation or you know different styles and present it to your management now uh, this is pretty much all I wanted to discuss in this uh, video for funnel chart but uh, as I said earlier in this video that there is another chart that I created for this uh, which is percentage by age group so we have a first chart which says percentage by gender which is here and another chart percentage by age group which is a subset of first chart the gender chart now there is an option in uh, in click view where you can do the drill down so drill down is something if I am clicking on this section mail it should show me the percentage by age group chart with its relevant percentages now I have not shown that uh, properties or that functionality in any of my video but uh, if you can Google or if you can figure it out on your own that will be great exercise for you and you can think okay you know very good good things and uh, an important things in click view for uh, effective dashboarding because drill down is one of those features uh, which is uh, most which you know management uh, is very much interested to see for uh, you know to get uh, the answers of critical business queries so here is this data you probably you know you can see this data pause your video for a minute and write it down and see if you can do a drill down so if I click on mail it should show me these percentages in the same chart so I will leave you with this question and uh, uh, I hope you will figure out the answer but in 
in my coming videos I will be showing this functionality of how to do that so I'll say stay tuned till that time I'll tr I'll try to show you that functionality but if you can figure it out that will be great so this is pretty much all I wanted to discuss thanks for watching this and I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic till then bye bye